Hello everyone and welcome to the start of our new Let's Play of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm your host JP Joker and I am so excited to start this. Let's get straight into the game. We are gonna- I was originally gonna uh, max out all skills and I get every skill, max out every report card. If we're hand we get every single skill coming in to this. But nah, let's just start a new game. Uh, we're going English language, then not Japanese. I normally play on gentle. But because I already know everything, I am going to be using a guide for this. It's just I want to play on mean because of um, uh, white noise. I'll be quiet during cutscenes and executions and stuff like that. Well, wasn't that kind of the stupid little bear? God, I love Monokuma. One of my favourite video game characters ever. Just look at that grin on his face where he, he chuckles after just murdering a human being, you know? How can- Danganronpa, trigger happy havoc. Off oh, some people, trigger happy havoc Danganronpa. I'm just gonna say now, some of the text in this game, if it's blue, it means that it's your thoughts. If it's white, it means that it's spoken out loud. Some of this game is voice, some of the, the some of the, uh, some of the voice, I'll start again. Some of the speech in this game is voiced, some of it is not. I'll be voicing the non-speech, non-voiced stuff, and then I'll let the game handle the rest. The mass in high school towers over all the buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the centre of the entire world. Hope Peak Academy. Best school in the whole world. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope into the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you need to be already attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could have rolled here. The only way in, in is if you are scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. How can he not love that voice? That is why I'm not voicing that dude, the voice that's in this, but it is all beautiful. Makoto. I love you, buddy. No. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly act average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much work going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff, like I do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Yeah, you keep, you think that, Makoto. Say that word, psychic, again. Like if you asked me what my favourite song was, or my favourite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at this particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'll say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of the Anything But Ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. 
I got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Can this music shut up? It's amazing, but oh my god, it's loud. Hope Pete only invites those students who are the, tr who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. All I saw was talk about the ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the clean-up hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons, tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that makes me realise how totally powerless I, uh, I was. I was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging, I mean. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come into this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glass glance at the acceptance letter they sent to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as, as, as the ultimate lucky student. They spelt it out play, playing as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer, but about after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand in front of the, the gate forever, frozen in place murmuring to myself. I looked down at the exceptions like a clutch in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting's still in it for a little while, but I probably should just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and I took my stern step view towards the main hall. Go on, Makoto! Best boy. In this game. Second best boy in this game. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock on the wall, wall over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. The, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense no one else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I had plenty of time for the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now. So there shouldn't be any problem with me take, having a look around, right? It helped me kill some time if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? But the instant I took the f that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion. Melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. How life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realised the reason I brought it to Hope Speak Academy was, wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. 
It's so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair Prologue. In Japan, that's actually called Welcome to Despair High School. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure. Hmm? <laughs> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? My coach, this is a kid's game. You can't use the H word. Oh wait, you didn't use the H word. You used a different one. Good boy. You get a good start. You get a gold star. Welcome to Hosby Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can choose the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim an object, you can interact with you can press the X button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L1 or L2 buttons to adjust your waypoint. Viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Well done us. Let's see what this is. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can see a line of drool I must have left there. Well done Makoto, you are not very hygienic buddy. I'll have to come clean that up later. Hey, what's on that desk? An oriental, an oriental guide. I cannot speak. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be an entire world. What the hell, is this someone's idea of a joke? Uh, you think what you think, Dakota. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after, after 7 when I got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Bang bang. Yup, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. Then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that is true... That just raises more questions. This is already strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by clicking the circle button. We will leave the classroom next time when we go and meet the new students. I am so happy to actually start this playthrough. I've been planning this since we started the channel, I've, I was debating with myself whether to do Kingdom Hearts Final Mix or a second playthrough of this, and decided I'll do Kingdom Hearts, but I'll see you next time, goodbye!